going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another MLB 22 The Show Diamond Dynasty video. In today's video, we're going to go over how you can get unlimited show pack bundles for free. We got a very good method for you that's going to help all you no money spent players to get free packs, which could turn into free stubs, which could turn into a way to build your squad without spending any money. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, do me a favor, make sure to go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Show us a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. And also, if you're brand new here because you're searching around YouTube for Diamond Dynasty information, whether it's how to get free stubs, how to get free packs, how to build your Diamond Dynasty squad, you found the right channel, stay a while, click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so this method is going to involve conquest which is a game mode that i highly recommend for all you grinders out there especially new players to get to it you're going to go over to the play section then go to single player modes and we're going to jump on over to conquest now the other day i actually put out a video going over how to easily beat conquest for all of you beginners out there that are a little bit unsure on how the game mode works definitely go check that video out we're going to link it down below in the comment section as a pinned comment. It'll be very helpful, again, for all of you newer players out there that don't know what's going on. Conquest is a single-player mode where you can earn tons of free rewards. We start out with five Conquest maps, and as the year goes on, more will be loaded in, which means more rewards. There's hidden packs, hidden cards. There's a lot of stuff that you can earn. So we're going to focus on the mystery map, but the Nation of Baseball, the USA map, is going to have these repeatable unlimited rewards as well. It's just going to take a little longer to earn those. For the mystery map, though, if you go into this and you hit triangle on Xbox, I'm sorry, triangle on PlayStation, Y on Xbox, and view the goals, there's a few that you can only do once. But if you scroll all the way to the bottom, look at goal number four. Capture and conquer all strongholds and remaining territories to earn five the show pack final uh, final goal. Five, okay, I can't read now. Earn five the show packs. The final goal is repeatable. So I didn't know this after the first time I played it, and I was a little confused why I didn't say completed if I went back over to the main menu that says three out of four goals, like these ones say completed, right? So I was a little confused, and then I looked at the goals and I said, whoa, that's pretty generous of San Diego Studios. Five show packs to complete this map it doesn't take that long. In my opinion, this is worth going over and over and over grinding it because they are repeatable. So I did the map. This is my second time doing it for video purposes. I left this one square or one spot intentionally. It's not a square, Mike. You're an idiot. I left this one spot intentionally blank so I could show you what happens when you finish this map. So to get the five packs, you have to fill out the entire map. And that's what we're going to do there. And boom, we get a show pack bundle that's going to give us five standard packs for free. I guess it's worth mentioning that you also get 350 stubs, which you can't really do too much with that, okay? But the point here is that we can get free packs and it's repeatable, so it's unlimited and it doesn't take that long. This is the map. Now, it took me about 35 minutes to complete this map and that was with one of my games going to five innings, so extra innings in Conquest. All games are three innings and we took it to five. And the second game, which was my final game, I won 11 to nothing. So typically games like that are going to take a little bit longer. If you're trying to do it as fast as possible, as soon as you get the lead, you can start bunting to get your innings over with quicker. But for me, repeating these conquest maps, this one and the USA map are very good because when you're playing the games, right, you're striving towards these rewards. And in this case, you're getting unlimited show packs every time you beat it. But you're also getting PXP for any players in your line up whether that's players that you want on your main squad or players that you're trying to get side missions for for the faces of the franchise missions you're also earning xp so every time you play you earn xp xp is going to help you towards the xp on the faces of the franchise which gives you more free additional rewards so just those two things alone plus the fact that you're getting the free packs and it's very easy to do and not very time consuming 
I think it's worth just kind of grinding this mission over and over. So just real quick, you got to understand Conquest, understand what I'm talking about. But mainly my kind of strategy here on the early rounds is to kind of work my way up here towards the Braves at first. So like we're going to try to fill as many spots as we can over here on the map. And then once we get closer to the Braves, like I won't push them all the way up, but we're going to keep skip skipping over to the reinforcement phase. Phase, you want to own as many territories as possible so you have more reinforcements because the goal here is to make these games fairly easy for yourself and that's going to allow you to play the games on either veteran or rookie like in in my case the map i just showed you we play two games on veteran and then one on rookie to finish it out and that's going to make it go quicker so i would kind of push the map up here like this and then when we get to you know kind of what this looks like then we'll start reinforcing down here and there's so much territory to the bottom and towards the left in the middle that you guys can obtain basically and every time you own a square or a spot i keep calling it a square but you guys know what i mean anytime you own a, a spot on the map then you know obviously that's going to give you more reinforcements for the reinforcement stage so again to start it out this is kind of what i would recommend trying to get your map to look like here like i own most of it now and we got 20 reinforcements to work with to get it like this played zero games took me about five minutes and then i would go in and like i said just challenge the braves you can go after the angels first as well but that's going to allow us when we get to the attack phase here to play this game against veteran which shouldn't be too difficult and then at that point typically whatever team you play next you're probably gonna have to play one more game of veteran and then you can finish out with rookie if you're solid at the game you can knock all three out on veteran but once you cover up this whole map like i said about 35 maybe Maybe 40 minutes depending on how long the games take you're gonna earn another five show packs now thinking ahead here with the USA map which is obviously gonna take a lot longer to do I'm still on my first playthrough of it but we're getting there if you look at the rewards here there are more additional repeatable goals so every time you capture an entire division like the NL West which is gonna be the Diamondbacks the Rockies Dodgers Padres and Giants you're going to get a choice pack that gives you a prospect player from that division in all of the divisions in baseball. So there's six of them are going to be repeatable. So once you finish up this map, you can go through and play it again. Again, it's going to take a lot longer than that mystery map, but the mystery map for every 30, 35, 40 minutes to get five free packs is definitely a great move. To repeat this map, I did it a ton last year and I kept getting these divisional packs. Also, if you complete the entire map, you're going to get 10 show packs and 3,500 stubs. Now that is is a little bit more ambitious but i will tell you why you might want to do this if we look through over to the collection so we'll go to collect we'll go to collections and we go over to what is it legends and flashbacks and then prospect you're going to notice once you collect 25 of these prospect players and you can earn all 25 of them for free you're going to get six each time you play through the entire usa map each time you earn one of those packs, they are choice packs, so you can pick a different player. If you play through that map four times, and you don't have to do this, but you can earn 24 of the 25 you need to get this free 91 overall Adley Rutschman. I mean, he's probably one of the best, if not the best catchers in the game. Maybe that Joe Maurer, like the higher overall Joe Maurer, not the cover athlete one, is probably better, but... I mean, this is an extremely good card that'll probably last you at least a month or two at the catcher position. So you can essentially get this card for free because of the because of those repeatable uh, goals that you have on the USA map. So not only are we kind of telling you in this video, you can keep getting those five free show packs over and over, but you can stack up on these uh, po prospect cards and get 10 show packs every time you complete the bigger map. That's going to take a, a lot longer, obviously. Uh, but the other thing is they are going to add to this. And we saw it last year when we got like bigger collections to come out. You needed more prospects and the prospect cards shot up in price. Now, right now, I think they're fairly cheap, like 2,000, 3,000 stubs each. But we saw them last year hit 8, 9, 10, 11, 12,000 stubs. So 
if you start grinding out the USA map right now and just collecting these, obviously you can get the Rutschman card, but you can also save them to sell them on the marketplace later, because if they add in a situation where you need to collect like 40 of them to get another diamond player, they're gonna go way, way up in price. Or if you need some type of voucher or ticket from the prospect collection to get a bigger card, these are gonna go way, way up in price. So start doing it now. And as I mentioned with the mystery map and the USA map, playing through it over and over and over again. Also, you know, you're working towards these rewards I just told you about but you're earning PXP to upgrade your players. If you don't know what PXP is and how you can parallel up your players to boost their attributes, we're gonna drop another video we put out yesterday in the comment section as a pinned comment. You can essentially add plus five attributes to our plus, yeah, plus five attributes to any card on your team just by playing the game. And just by playing the game, of course, you're earning regular XP. And of course the regular XP is gonna be going towards your faces of the franchise program, which is gonna help you earn all of these free packs. You can earn a free Mike Trout in the, in the process. So just playing through those conquest maps over and over and over again, you're like triple quadruple dipping for rewards. It's a great method and you can earn unlimited packs through that mystery map. Hopefully this video helps out all you no money spent guys. I got you covered with a flipping tutorial and the best way to make stubs coming up very, very soon. But thank you for watching this video. My name is Popular Stranger, I'm out, peace.